Okay guys, so yesterday uh, we saw some eggs in the tank, in the axolot tank. I don't know if you guys can see them right now, but there's some right there. And little black dots, they're all over the moss ball, the plant right there, the wood, everywhere. I know the tank is a little bit dirty right now, but I just fed him some pellets. But, um, I was gonna do a water change. Either way, but I, then I found some. The eggs. And I thought, let's take them out. Today, before I do the water change, so that's what we're gonna do today. Babies, look at all the babies. Yeah. I guess you see them? Uh, no. No, right now we'll see them, okay? Okay. And where is it gonna go? Uh, right there. Where? Right here. Right there? Yeah. What are you gonna put in there? That? Water. That? You're gonna put water. Yeah. And then we're gonna put the babies right there. Okay? Okay. With what? With this one. What's that for? For the baby. Yes, yeah, it's for the baby. Okay. So I got this, um, what is this? Uh, a shoe box, I guess. Um, at the dollar store. Let's see, I think, uh, how many ounces? Yes. I don't know how many ounces or liters or gallons, but it's probably like about a gallon. Or probably less but this is what we're gonna use to put the little baby axolotls as uh, some aqua safe to declinate the water uh, this is also I'm gonna buy some brine shrimp we're gonna do a hatchery some bubbles with some stones with some air tubing and everything but for right now let's take out all the eggs from the from the tank so the first thing I think I'm gonna do is um, get some water from the tank since it's already cycled. I was gonna use tap water and then just uh, dechlorinate it or spring water and dechlorinate it, add this to it. But since it's already cycled, the big tank's already cycling, it's very big, it won't harm them to get some already cycled water. So let's do that first.
today guys, I had to stop filming with this. It's a lot of eggs. There's still some in there. Right there on that string and then there's some in the moss. I don't know, somewhere in there. Um, I felt like leaving these here so I could like see them grow here in the tank. Um, so they could develop and then show you some videos. I mean, I am going to show you the tub filled with eggs. But I also wanted to see how they developed in the tank. As they start growing, I'll probably pull them out because, of course, I don't know if you guys know, but the parents can eat the babies. Oh, there's a egg right there on the rock. I don't know if you guys can pick it up, but there's a egg right there. Still left, too. And I'm pretty sure there's a lot, or maybe a few more. Still left in between these. Like I said, I had to do a water change on them. Just look at how they have to flow with those pellets. But it's a joke here. So these are all the eggs I got. I don't know. There's a couple hundred probably. Or maybe hundred. I don't know. If they take about 20 days, it's because you have the water too cold. If, you, if they hatch about 14 days, it's because you have it a little bit warmer. So if you want it to hatch sooner, then you have the water warm. If you want it to hatch uh, maybe a week later, you can keep them cool. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do right now because I still gotta do like a brine shrimp hatchery for when they're ready to hatch. But I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do like a a warmer temperature for them. I wanna see them hatch. Um, or maybe I think I'm gonna sell some and then just keep some. I'm not sure. I still don't know. But this is gonna be a lot of babies. I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to take care of them. But yeah, there's the video. Hey, Haley, my helper left me. Why you leave me? Why you not help me? You're boring? Why? You want a drink? What do you want to drink? <laughs> what baby? You don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> no. oh yeah guys. If you like this video, subscribe. And give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching again. Bye.